This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Coming to you live from Grand Junction, Colorado. My mission is to teach you how to master your own biochemistry and you can take it from there. Once you learn about your own biochemistry, you can, of course, live a very vibrant life. And I have seen people reverse many, many conditions through nutrification and paying attention to what they eat. It's very amazing what can happen to the body once we start paying attention and nutrifying, etc. So I had a couple of things I want to let you guys know. First off is we're going to continue to do these calls three times a week. We do two calls on Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time and 6 p.m. Pacific time. There's a dial-in number below that if you also wanted to share this with friends and family that aren't on Facebook Live, you can definitely do that and reach out to them and let them know that they can dial in and speak to me directly if they have particular health questions or any questions about their pharmaceuticals. The other thing I want you guys to know, we do a third call that's on Thursdays at 6 p.m. and we'd love to have you on there too. So the topic for today is actually going to be arthritis and I know there's a lot of people out there that suffer from that and arthritis is one of those conditions that I would see as a pharmacist. It's very prevalent and as people get older, they, you know, their joints will start swelling up, their their ankles, you'll see um, swelling in the joints here, their elbows, etc. And one of the biggest things that's most commonly prescribed is anti-inflammatories, also known as, for example, things such as naproxen, ibuprofen, you will see, and the, and the brand names for those are Aleve, Motrin, you will see those medications heavily prescribed. And what, there's a huge loop that happens for these people. So number one, these people are having inflammation because their digestive tract is wore down. They actually have a condition called leaky gut syndrome and that's why there's inflammation. The inflammation in the joints develops because they have the dirty blood, they have the inflammatory blood if you will, and there's a huge immune response that's taking place in their body and the inflammation in the dirty blood gathers in the joints and that's why your joints end up hurting and that's why people will have hip pains in their hips and their knees etc because that's where that that coagulates if you will so when we give somebody an anti-inflammatory we're actually we're, we're helping them maybe briefly in the short term we're we're hitting the prostaglandins which are part of the immune cascade that's happening in their in their body and in their blood so we're knocking that down which in short term use can be quite helpful but in long term use it ends up being a problem and the reason is is because that uh, you know the anti-inflammatory hits the prostaglandins not only in your blood but it also hits the prostaglandins in your stomach in your mucosa lining so here you already like we just discussed we have somebody that has a weak you know uh, leaky gut process going on and now we dose them with anti-inflammatories these anti-inflammatories hit their gut lining and really hit the mucosa lining and cause even more damage to the whole uh, very sensitive layer of their digestive tract so they're not able to repair and rebuild and regenerate so it's a huge huge challenge for people it happens very frequently and again when you if you're sitting there right now with your family member that complains of achy joints, I want you to understand that there are options and some of these things can be turnarounds overnight. And one of the biggest things is going allergen free. And what that means is eating a, di a diet or imbibing in foods that do not aggravate the digestive tract. And some of my favorite things that I love are things such as quinoa, very amazing. Eggs are usually very safe for most people and you know fruits and vegetables these are things that and meats we can eat these things without any repercussions 99 percent of the time the biggest culprits out there are things such as gluten and second to that is lactose and when people ask me well what does that mean i, I can't eat gluten what that means is breads pastas cupcakes cakes it's a very very challenging transition but it can be done and they put gluten in everything. They put gluten in salad dressings. I've seen gluten in mayonnaise before. I've seen gluten in, of course, it's in like Doritos, potato chips, little snackies. So we have to be very vigilant when we make this commitment to read all the labels. I will tell you my own personal story. When I decided to go gluten, I had to go gluten-free. I was very sick in my early 30s 
and I officially had to go. I had a bleeding ulcer, I was also hypothyroid, and at that point I committed to it, but it still took me a couple years, even knowing what I know, it was hard. I would, I would continue to eat it, I'd be at you know, the office and there would be a cake or there'd be a, uh, you know, some sort of uh, pizza party and I would always go ahead and eat it because it just, you know, it was what was available. So I get it, it's hard, but if you just keep making those daily choices, and maybe just catching yourself saying, oh, do I really want that cupcake? And, and maybe, you know, thinking about something else like an apple or, um, you know, some other, some other foods that, are, again, are, are pretty amazing and available out there. And you can find those things and be prepared because when we're out there, again, like I said, if I was at work without food, I probably was going to eat those foods. So even myself, it took a while to get into the gluten-free lifestyle, but I was able to heal and regenerate my mucosa lining, which does tie in with the arthritis that we're discussing. So I had the ulcer, but if you're dealing with somebody that has arthritis, like I said, you already know that they have a leaky gut system, a leaky gut syndrome. Their digestive tract is porous. Things are leaking out into their blood that really shouldn't be in their blood. And because of that, when you add, when we add anti-inflammatories as a medical system, we're, we're contributing to the progression of their disease. So again, I love short-term use of anti-inflammatories. They're huge if you're having really bad cramping or you've experienced a, a, a trauma. You know, in certain situations, they're, 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 it's an amazing medication and, and I do advocate the usage. But chronically using these things, you really wanna start looking at what's going on. So for those of you listening that have family members, please share this with them. Also, we do ask that please post your city, state, and country. We love to check in and see where people are listening from. And we want you to post questions down below. And also, if you like this video, please send us a like. And if you didn't like this video, communicate as to what you didn't like about it. We will be continuing to do these calls three times a week. It's my passion, it's my dedication to communicate with people what I've learned, you know, 15 years in the medical profession and what I've seen and what I've learned. Chronic uses of medications do not get you better. If you are stuck in the medical system, I want to help you get out. I am, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be filling in for uh, Dr. Joel Wallach tomorrow on Dead Doctors Don't Lie and tomorrow's actually July 12th and the show goes live at noon Pacific time. And if you're listening to this, I'd love for you to dial in and, and share your Facebook story. As far as any feedback, too, you're welcome to call in at the 1-800 number. I will post that below. And I look forward to hearing from you and definitely seeing you later this week on Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. God bless. Bye-bye.